Hi there, I'm John Kirstead from Art Expos Vancouver Island and today we're going to talk a little bit about the finishes, the different finishes of hot tubs and uh, the, the various colors and stuff that they can come in. Uh, most of the spa industry now uses acrylic. Um, the acrylic comes in lots of different marbly uh, colors and finishes. Um, some of them are like this, we call this cast marble acrylic. Um, uh, they can come in many different shades. Uh, most of the time they try to s stick to uh, kind of neutral uh, earth tones. Um, the uh, most popular uh, color that we have in the acrylic is probably the white marble. Um, there's several spas in that. And then there's also, um, you know, some spas are very dark colored. So you'll get like in behind here, you can see there's a darker finish. Uh, I think this is espresso, right? So they have these darker marbles. Um, sometimes they have them in blues, they have them in greens. Um, over the years I've seen all kinds of different colors come and go like light blues and um, you know light greens and you know caramel kind of colored uh, spas. It's just been a cranberry which was this is a lot of cranberry for a spa. So a couple of things I tell people when uh, you're looking at the color is um, most of the the water chemistry so the if you're using a traditional maintenance program with a chlorine or bromine um, or if you're using like we sell mainly salt systems that the uh, salt dries on the spa white and so if you have a dark color then often you'll see a line on there that you may not want to like whereas with the lighter colors it's going to be less prominent. The other thing I tell people about to think about is that uh, most spas nowadays have LED lighting um, and it's RGB or red, green, blue uh, so that it can make all kinds of different colors and the lighter the material um, the more reflective it's going to be and the more uh, color it's going to show from your LED lighting. So if you wanted your spa to look blue, you turn the blue lights on, it's going to reflect the whole spa is going to look blue. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I tell people, you know, think long term when you get one of these because um, that spa is going to be around a really long time and you might get tired of, you know, a eight foot cranberry spa it might get very old very fast. And, you know, you may sell your house, you may not take the spa with you. Those people that are coming uh, potentially looking at your home might go, this is awesome, it's got a spa, and they look at it and they go, oh, I hate this color, right? That's where having more neutral colored spas um, might make sense. Um, the other thing you'll notice is the, the difference between these cast kind of marbly acrylics and the textured finishes. So I'll just take you over to look at one of these textured finishes. This is also acrylic. This is acrylic as well. Um, if you look really close at it, you can see there's little ground up pieces of acrylic inside of a clear coat. And when they uh, heat this up in the giant, gigantic oven to heat this um, and they stretch this down, the different uh, materials melt at different rates. And so you get kind of a textury finish to this, right? Um, most of the manufacturers will tell you or dealers will tell you that this is a little less slippery. It doesn't show scratching it as much. Um, I, I found all acrylic to be quite slippery with water. So I always tell people, you know, getting in and out of the spa is where most uh, injuries occur uh, and it can be quite slippery. So I, I strongly recommend people look at getting a handrail for getting in and out um, and sit on the edge and swing your legs in or uh, come in uh, by straddling uh, in. So uh, same when people sink these into decks and stuff. I always recommend never sinking them flush because that's a big step down. You know, if you're halfway up, it's more like a chair. You're going to sit on it, swing your legs in or straddle and get in that way. So these, these uh, uh, textured finishes are quite popular. The other thing that's nice about this is if you ever actually damage this, um, this we get this material uh, in a dry form and we can just mix it up with a little bit of clear coat, kind of grind out a spot and uh, uh, replace it. So it's quite easy to repair. Whereas with the marbles, you have to be a little bit more of an artist. You know, you're trying to match these lines and we get in there and we'll try to airbrush it and make it look, well, uh, look better um, to match. Um, it's important to understand that the acrylic is really just a fancy paint job. 
This is not structural. You know, it gets stretched down. It's quite thin when it gets to the bottom. So what backs this, what comes in behind this is really important. On Arctic spas, we're using uh, fiberglass backing so that we can control the thickness of it all the way through. The problem with some of these thermoplastics, a lot of companies will use the uh, the uh, acrylic with uh, ABS and then stretch that and then just rely on foam to give it its structural strength, um, which is fine, but sometimes if you don't have a perfectly level ground and it's perfectly uh, flat and hard, sometimes you can get stretching and stuff that can occur and that can lead to other problems. And uh, if the shell doesn't hold water because it's cracked or otherwise, you're looking at a, a brand new spa. You, you know, that's uh, one of the things that's very hard to fix after the fact. So um, that's uh, the acrylic finishes. This is the example of that platinum or sterling uh, finish. I, I definitely consider this to be my favorite color, primarily because this has been cool since the time of Romans. Um, it's not gonna go out of style. It's very rich looking. And again, it's the most reflective. It's not gonna show, it's not gonna show any watermarks uh, on it. Um, now, if you do have dirt or otherwise, it may show a bit of a, a dark line along the top, but then you know. Um, the smooth finish is actually easier to keep clean as opposed to texture finish. The texture finish, you kind of have to rub it a little bit more. I always tell people if you're looking after the, the spa, it's really good to have a microfiber cloth. Um, it helps keep the uh, water line um, nice and smooth. Um, and yeah, you just kind of wipe down there. Um, when you drain and fill your spa, that's a good time to actually, you know, give the spa a good cleaning. And we have products that are good for polishing the acrylic and making sure that any uh, buildup that's happened on there strips that away and protects your investment for a very long time. So that's a little bit of information about the textures and finishes on spas. Uh, one last thing I wanted to point out is there are soft-sided spas as well as we call these rotationally molded spas. So we're not using acrylic at all in these ones. This is actually using uh, uh, PP, which is polypropylene or polyethylene are the two materials most widely used for uh, uh, ro rotationally molded. So this is in a gigantic mold. This stuff gets put in a pellet and this mold spins with the heat in it and it click, cl uh, clings to the outside and that's what forms the shell as opposed to vacuum forming, which is what the acrylic spas are. Um, this uh, finish isn't as pretty, I'd say, as the acrylic finish, but it's super durable. Um, you do sometimes see some discoloration that takes place over time. You know, you can see a little discoloration because it's a little bit more porous of a material. Sometimes that color can stick around, but realistically, um, super durable. This stuff can last for a very, very long time. Um, the, the last uh, uh, material that you see a lot of spas made out of nowadays is, is kind of a rubberized or, or uh, um, similar to the material that's used in a cover. You will kind of have like a, a vinyl liner inside. Um, it's got kind of like a cover material for the outside in those soft-sided spas and some of the blow-up spas and stuff like that. It's kind of a rubberized vinyl uh, material. Uh, it feels fine, but it's certainly not as durable as, uh, as this type of material or the acrylics and stuff that you see on traditional spas. Um, we've actually uh, introduced a brand new kind of blow-up spa, which is using the same technology as they use for stand-up paddle boards. So it's a kind of like a vulcanized rubber. Um, it's very, very durable. It's quite soft to sit against. And I think that that's going to be a, a really popular uh, choice. And I hope to see it being used in uh, other capacities, maybe for covers and things like that. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a good material. It's definitely a step up from some of those cheap blow up spas that are out there. Um, so that gives you a little bit of uh, information on the different things that spas can be built out of. Of course, you still have your traditional uh, spas that are um, made out of concrete and maybe have some tile and stuff like that. We don't really deal with that. What we're talking about is mainly the what we call portable spas. So I'm John Kirstead from Arctic Spas, Vancouver Island. See you at the next video.